I'm reviewing Watch Dogs. We've been seeing videos about this, several E3s. We were blown away by the graphics initially. We found out that it, it still can look close to that if you have a PC and it's maxed out. But on the consoles, it doesn't look quite as good. You will notice weather looks great, the rain, the water. Actual building structures look pretty nice. Aiden Pierce's clothing looks pretty detailed. Find new outfits, you can appreciate the materials. But that's the graphics. They'll do. Now that's out of the way, let's get into the world. Aiden Pierce is a hacker, highly skilled, has a smartphone, and you can jump into mainframes. I mean, anything, go pretty much anywhere. Do police are chasing you? Use the phone, cause a traffic jam, switch the traffic lights, put up barriers. You can make a separate video on just the hacking, it is that intricate. Jump in the cameras, survey the field, scan, see what you're dealing with, listen in on conversations, see how many enemies are in an area. Use that phone, hack into devices that the enemies have, jam their communications, trigger explosives. You can blow these guys up from the street corner, nowhere near the actual site. Boom. They'll have no idea it's you. It's all about how you approach the action in Watch Dogs. I'm playing it on hard right now, and it's very punishing, the AI. They will call reinforcements, but you can also unlock more hacking abilities. Destroy communication. They're calling reinforcements. Shut it off. If a pedestrian sees action going on, they will call the cops. You can either grab the phone from them, use it to scan people, anybody on the street, Find out information that you didn't want to know about the people. Aiden Pierce's niece died in a car accident and he wants to get the people who are responsible for it. And this is a long line of revenge that's going to take you throughout the game. You'll meet some interesting characters along the way who are also hacking, doing what you're doing. So they have to be stopped. There's also regular gangs. Of course the police officers there's a lot of people out here that want to kill you some of the side missions that I talked about earlier are digital trips and these trigger completely insane mini games there's multiplayer modes one of them is where another person can hack into your system and you have to find them. Find out where they're hacking you from. So it's a really cool game of cat and mouse. But along with all the stuff that it does right, there's also some things that just I can't get around. The driving is absolutely atrocious. The biggest car to the smallest car. All the handling is just very, very bad. I, they need to patch that up. It is almost unbearable at times and this is a game that centers around it a lot Aiden Pierce I think would be more interesting of a character I don't really care about the story as much as I would have liked I'm just more interested in what I'm gonna hack next but the overall story it's like I mean it's just it's okay Watch Dogs is a lengthy adventure you're gonna clock in at least 40 hours this is a game that just packs a punch as far as the hacking goes enjoyable shootouts that remind me of Splinter Cell and stealth that reminds me of Assassin's Creed. So I'm gonna give Watch Dogs a four. Fuck. Fuck. Out of five.